the time has come to introduce our guest for tonight. Actually, isa siya sa talagang uh, parang feeling ko sikat na sikat na well sought after. Tinos ko pa lang siya, nakagulo na ang mga tao from the Department of Science and Technology. Nako. Tapos ayaw niya ako sagutin ko, okay ba sa kanya maging balik scientist? Ang bigat, Ella, no? ang ino-offer sa kanya, balik scientist or a consultant. Okay, welcome to today's episode, The Feminine Genius Meets the Quiet Storm with the theme, How It's Like for a Filipino Engineer to Make Impact in a Foreign University. This is Late Night with Dr. Ria Liza, featuring up close and personal with Dr. Orlando Bagcal. Dr. Orlando Bagcal has a combined professional industry and academic experience for more than 26 years. He was he is an associate professor of the construction science and management at Tarleton State University in Stephenville, Texas, USA. So pro probably maaga ngayon doon sa kanya. Ano? Yeah, maaga maaga siguro. Before migrating to the US, Dr. Bacal served as the department head and professor of civil and sanitary engineering for 10 years in various institutions in the Philippines. And he used to be my colleague at Lyceum of the Philippines University. He also taught at IRIST, PUP, CCP, and TIP. Kaya sure yan, mamaya dudumugi siya ng mga past students niya, no? He has a master's degree in civil engineering from Australia, a doctorate degree in technology and bachelor's degree in civil engineering, both from the Philippines. He is a Texas licensed professional engineer and a registered civil and geodetic engineer in the Philippines. He received the NAHB designation as certified green professional in 2017 and associate design Build Institute of America professional in 2021, very recently. The first Filipino professor as recipient of the prestigious U.S. NAHP Student Chapter National Outstanding Education or Educator Award, recipient of the U.S. National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development Excellence in Teaching, and he is commonly referred to as the quiet storm by his students. And of course, I agree with that. Very low profile. Grabe ang kanya mga achievements. Let us give a virtual applause to Dr. Engineer Orly. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Napaiyak ako dun na. Ah. <laughs> Naiyak ako. <laughs> Lagay lang kita sa gitna. Ah. Lalagay lang kita at the middle. Ayun. All right. There so, you go. Yeah. Good evening, Orly. Magandang gabi. Sayo, good Ari. evening po. Uh, it's it's morning here. It's 7, 7.26 a.m. Wow, 7.26 a.m. Mm -hmm. So, siya ay nasa Texas. Okay, tama, no? Texas. Yes, ma'am. I have, yeah, I have so many friends in Texas, actually, in Houston, Texas. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. So, Ari, um, um, ma, how many years tayo hindi nagkita? Uh, the last time that we saw each other was 1998. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's a, approximately about 23 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Years. Yeah, been it's been a while. while. Mm -hmm. And for 22 years, no, mm -hmm. how things have changed, no? How how everybody grew up, how everybody level up, especially you and. Of course, all our audience are very much interested to know your journey. So, Orly, iiwan ka muna namin. Diyan kami ni Ella, mamamasyal muna. <laughs> Sabihan mo lang kami, pagtapos ka na, at babalik na kami, okay? So, okay. So, okay, the stage is yours. Or uh, Orly, see you it, later. Try ko muna yung uh, pag-share ng screen ko, okay? Ah, sige, you can share. Okay. So, there's uh, a share slides. How's that? Can you see uh, it? 
did you share slides? Mas maganda share slides. Have what have you chosen? Share uh, screen or share slide? It's a share screen. Ma, um, I think share slide is much better. But if you have a video, uh, share screen is better. Okay. All right. So uh, you, let you're... let me see if you can see it. Um. Yeah, we can already see. Can it. you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Can you see it? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. For me, yeah. Okay, so All right. back to you, yeah. Okay. Yan, your mic is much better. Medyo lumaka siya. Oh. Okay, lang ko siguro lumapit. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, medyo okay na siya. Okay. I'm ready. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Uh, uh, good evening. Um, greetings here from uh, the great state of Texas. Uh, it's morning here, so uh, good morning as well. Uh, maraming maraming salamat, Ria, for um, allowing me to be your guest uh, tonight back there in the Philippines. It is an honor, and I am very grateful to uh, be part of your show uh, tonight. Now, uh, I am going to share to you my journey okay? because I never thought or uh, imagined that it was possible for me um, to be able to uh, teach at a college or university here in the U.S., to be able to teach uh, students from across the globe, uh, different backgrounds, different race, uh, uh, different perspective. Uh, it's quite an amazing journey. Um, an experience, but at the same time, it is also uh, very challenging. So the question is, how did I do it? How did I break barriers uh, to make impacts and inspire our student lives? Uh, well, that is my uh, story that I'm going to share with you today. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself first, uh, and I am going to start with who I am as a, as a son. As I mentioned a while ago, I never imagined or I never thought that, that uh, it was possible for someone like me who was uh, born and raised in a small uh, village up in the north, northern part of the Philippines. Uh, uh, it's quite uh, an amazing journey for me. Uh, it's uh, very challenging. Uh, I grew up in a family. We are five brothers. Uh, my parents were farmers, and uh, we spent a lot of time uh, at the farm uh, after uh, schools. So it wasn't that easy life for us. Um, uh, growing up in a farm, uh, we are completely dependent to uh, how much proceeds of the products that we have. Um, and uh, a lot of times, not even enough for us to support for, uh, for the whole year. So. Uh, that's the reason why, because of those hardships that we experience as brothers, our parents will always remind us that uh, for us to be able to get out from uh, poverty or uh, to better our life, we need to get an education that's uh, instilled in our mind that uh, through education, we'll be able to uh, uh, better off our, our life. But uh, getting an education for us, uh, it didn't come in a sil uh, silver platter. Uh, it wasn't easy. Um, I remember one time um, when I need to go back to, to Manila to start the semester, um, my mom will say straight to my face that uh, they couldn't afford to uh, send me back to Manila. And uh, I remember that uh, tears will just roll down to my face and I beg on them that uh, if uh, they, could, um, they could just give me um, a certain amount just to get back to Manila, I will do my best to uh, uh, pursue and finish my education. And my mom, I remember, he, uh, she will always rent to our neighbor and uh, borrow uh, money uh, enough for me to get into the bus and back in Manila. Um, she will uh, hand me 500 pesos enough to uh, pay for the bus and uh, pay for the first month of um, my rent for the boarding house and the remaining for uh for the fare uh, going uh to school and going back to uh, to the boarding house uh, and uh, the rest uh, i usually uh, do my best to um, 
do two uh, two tours, especially my classmates who were from other countries, particularly uh, from Iran. I tutor them and they pay me and uh, good enough for me to uh, pay for my fare. Uh, during that time, it's just uh, one peso and 25 cents for, for the fare. Well, um, I went through a lot of those hardships, but um, uh, true enough, uh, I was able to uh, finish my education. Uh, I was able to um, help my brothers and even help my, my parents. Um, so that's me as uh, a son and brother. Now let me uh, introduce myself as a uh, husband and a father. I want you to meet my family. Uh, I married my high school wife, uh, uh, Donna. Uh, we just celebrated our 23 years together. Uh, sh uh, she's the love of my life. Uh, I love her, uh, second uh, to God. And we are blessed with, uh, she's uh, an ICU nurse and she's the reason why we are here in the US because she wants to pursue her dream to become a uh, registered nurse. Uh, she specialized in heart uh, intensive care units. And we are blessed with uh, three wonderful kids. <clears throat> I always share that our kids uh, were made in three different countries. Our uh, oldest one, uh, just made in Australia. Uh, he is uh, 20 years old. He is pursuing a uh, bachelor's in computer, elect electrical and computer engineering. Uh, he's doing integrated uh, both uh, bachelor's and uh, master's degree in electrical and he is 20 years old. The second one, uh, he was made in the Philippines. Uh, she's 17 years old. She is a junior at the University of Texas. Uh, Dallas is pursuing a pre-med uh, behavioral science and our youngest one uh, he is 11 he is very special to us uh, he is gifted 